You'll have to forgive me for having this on my phone. I literally thought to do this five minutes ago. So, I will be the first to admit that there are some truly awkward moments that I've had with my service dog. Um, having her crawl under the stall of the bathroom and scaring the bejesus out of the lady next to me. Uh, having her puke in the back seat of the car the very first week I took her home. In my mother's car. Um, trying to shuffle people around me because she decided it was a good idea to poop in the center of the sidewalk and then proceeding to class and trying to explain why I was then late to class to the entire class because my dog pooped. Uh, trying to convince someone that it really was the dog that farted in the public place. Really, <laughs> really, it was, it was the dog Oh, and being in a movie theater and having people give you really weird looks because all of a sudden you shouted, No! You do not need to go on a popcorn odyssey! Get back here! <laughs> it happens. But none of those things are as awkward as encountering someone who doesn't know how to behave around a service dog. And so I'm going to give you some etiquette rules on how to... No, I'm not going to do that. Nobody's going to memorize rules, so I'm going to give you a cheat code, okay? But before we do that, I'm going, we've got to get a word out of the way so that everybody's comfortable before I can give you this cheat code. So let's just get this over with real quick. Okay, we ready? Boobs, 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 boobs. Okay. Boops! Are we good? Okay, we've, we've all heard the word boobs. We know what they are. We're good. Okay. Now, because no one's going to memorize rules. We're just, I'm going to give you a rule of thumb and this is going to change your life and you've got one thing that you've got to remember and it's going to completely change your perspective on how to deal with service dogs, okay? Are you ready? Are we ready? Can I give you this rule? We're ready? Okay. Treat the service dog like a boob. That's it. That's all you've got to remember. I'm serious. That's all you've got to remember. Treat the service dog like a boob. So there are certain things that no person would or should, hopefully, ever do or say regarding boobs. And if you did, you would earn yourself a well-deserved slap. So these are some of the things that you probably shouldn't say or do regarding a boob. Oh, boobs, get away! Oh my gosh, it's a boob! She's got boobs! She's got boobs! <laughs> Can I pet your boob? Can I please pet your boob? No, you can't pet my boob! Why would I, I pet my boob? Want to touch your boob? I don't care if you want to touch my boob! That's disturbing! Don't touch my boobs! Are you training your boob or is the boob for you? <laughs> no, it's my boob. I'm not training. But you're wearing a train, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a normal bra, don't judge me! <laughs> hey, uh, why? Why do you have those boobs? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure they're necessary. I just don't think you need them. <laughs> Boys!
Are are you sure your boobs can handle this situation? Are you, are you, are they gonna bite me? Maybe. <laughs> My boobs don't bite, but I do. <laughs> How dare you have boobs when there is nothing wrong with you? There is a veteran out there that fought for our country and is disabled and needs those boobs and you stole those boobs and how dare you do such a thing? Um, I know it's none of my business, but why do you have boobs? I gotta go. <laughs> okay. So, as humorous as all of this is, these are actual things that people have said to us. As long as you replace boobs, boobies, with dog, service dog, puppy. People actually say these things to us on a regular, if not daily, basis. <laughs> and a lot of times it's by complete strangers that initiate the conversation this way by literally walking up to you and going, Why do you have boobs? No, sorry, why do you have a service dog? There's nothing wrong with you. Almost on a daily basis. Even if there's visible, yeah. Um, there's so many of you nodding right now. Even if there's something visible that they can see that there's something wrong with you, they still do it. And if you have an invisible illness, like the two of us, it's ten times worse. So, please, don't be that ignorant individual who makes comments like that about boobs or service dogs. And... It's already hard enough for people who have a disability because we already feel like we stick out like a sore thumb. We already have a walking fuzzy billboard with us that says that there's something wrong with us. We know it's there, we're aware, we know we have boobs. <laughs> but it's not going to kill you if you don't know why we have a service dog. And, it's not, and you are not going to die if you don't get to pet it. You'll be fine, I promise. See, watch this. Hey, can I pet your dog? Can I pet your dog? Can I pet your dog? I'm sorry, she's working. Oh, okay. I'm not dead. Surprise. <laughs> so remember, if you aren't sure whether or not you should say something to the service dog handler or do something to the dog, just remember, would I say or do that to a boob? Thank you. If you appreciate my writing, please donate to Black Wax. <laughs> You can tell me why I ha why you have boobs. It's okay. <laughs>